My growth as a player and uh, my commitment to a team and just um, wanting to keep getting better as a player. I told them it was a, you know, told the truth, it was a rash decision by me, uncharacteristic, and that's not who I am. That's not what I, that's not what I stand for. That's not what my family stands for. And it, was a, it was embarrassing for me and my whole family and the whole Ole Miss family, and I told them that's not the kind of player they're getting. They're getting a straightforward player, and um, that's not, I'm never going to return to that. I'm just moving forward and embracing this moment. How did they respond to that answer, Robert? Um, they, they, they believe me. And, um, it's, it's the truth and it's what it's what I um, it's what I'm gonna keep moving forward with and, and I'm gonna stick to my story and that's the, that's what it is and I'm gonna keep moving forward and keep being in this moment and get ready to show out on Sunday. Were you on the Yes, I was drinking. I was drunk. No sir, no sir. It's understandable, you know what I mean? But you know, like I said, I told them the truth, you know, the person I am. And um, that's not the morals I hold myself to. That's not the standards I hold myself to. And um, I'm going to keep you know, moving forward and keep working and letting them understand the kind of person I am, the kind of person I truly am. I have changed. I've, I've lasered my focus more to, you know, what's important and um, kept away from things that can take football away from me and jeopardize my football career and I because I love the game so much you know what I mean I never want it to be taken away from me and I know that if I'm in situations like that it can't be taken away from me so I've just you know cleaned up a little bit and just yeah, what's the day process like after um training I've been training for the combine and um, just focusing on my craft my technique and um things that's going to make me a great NFL player Based on your meetings with teams, do you think their biggest concern is some character red flags, or is it your production and your play? It's um, it's um, my character and some facts about my production, of course, but um, it's mostly my character and off the field um, commitment. And I've, you know, I've cleared it up with every team, and, um, and I just plan to keep moving forward. Are you concerned, Robert? Set? That's what I call the slide yeah. right? Um, I just gotta wait and see. You know what I mean? Um, I'm doing everything I can to you know, make teams believe me and believe the person I truly am. You know what I mean? I made a mistake as a as 21 year old, and um, I just got to keep moving forward and hopefully that they believe me and I'm gonna do what I have to do on Sunday to make them, you know, see my athleticism and hopefully I go as high as possible. Robert, with your uh, family background, what is your African American? Um, it means something strong, you know, it's just, it's just um, something I have to stand for and just be steady with, you know what I mean, and just keep moving forward and just, you know, it's going to, sometimes it's going to be, um, you're going to be judged from it, you know what I mean, but you just got to keep moving forward and just stay the course of things. And, and the NFL expands the international series, would you like there to watch the NBA game in Africa? Oh yeah, that would be lovely, that would be amazing. About other players like uh, in the past, like Christian Okoye and, and uh, um, Matthias Kiwanuka, what, what does it mean to you to kind of carry on that kind of legacy of players throughout the It means a lot because you know, for people who know how it is over there, it's it's not like it is over here. It's, it's, it's the struggle, you know what I mean. So going going over there and seeing how it is myself, it's very humbling and, it, and it's centering, you know what I mean. So it just it means a lot to keep going forward and carrying that flag. For that, for that culture. Robert, what's your reaction to the team asks you uh, maybe about a disparity between your athleticism, or not your athleticism, but just your talent level and maybe the production of the field and stuff like that? Of course, and I just, you know, there's times I didn't finish. There's times, um, you know, uh, I, I was lazy on some plays, you know, but I told them, you know, I'm going to keep growing as a player and I'm going to keep, you know, learning how to finish and keep becoming more of a student of the game and just focus on being the best NFL player I can be. How many teams are you a member? 
Um, I had one formal interview, and I had a couple other informal interviews, but I have more of that. Who's um, the Washington Redskins. Were there any other teammates with you that night? Um, yeah, Larry Mills never been. Can you give an example of when, you're, when you're pitching these teams uh, about character and, and production? Give, give me an example of like how you pitch these teams and that you are someone different than what you were. Um, I mean, I kind of tell them the truth because I don't, I don't pitch them anything. I don't, I don't try and create, uh, you know, my act because, you know, for the people that do know me as a person, that that wasn't me. You know, that was a rash. And, and it was it was blundered, you know what I mean? So the people that know me know that that's not who I am and I don't do those kind of things, you know what I mean? And the media's done a done a you know, tarnish to my name, but you know, I just gotta make them understand me as a person who truly I am and and um just gotta keep moving forward man, and just keep being positive and um keep working hard. What's the status of the charge that came out of that? Oh, I had to pay some fines for it, but it's still pending, I think. Robert, what's the reception? When you say what you say, when you tell your side of the story, what's the reaction to that? Um, you know, they understand. You know, some of them, you know, ask me some more questions, but they understand. You know, like, I was drinking, you know, I was drunk, and it happened. You know, they like, just stay away from it, you know what I mean? Just keep your focus where it needs to be. Robert, you said that you didn't finish the plays. Were lazy at times. Why does that change when you get paid? Because I know it's on, I know what's at stake and I know what I have to do as a player to to be great in the NFL. And um and um I'm just gonna keep focusing on things I need to focus on as a player that I didn't focus on so much in college that I know I need to get better at. Yeah. How do you explain that? Hold on, what's the person say to you? So how do you explain that? You say you were charged with drugs. Yeah. Because there was, there was more people in my room. The, the hotel was under my name, and nobody wanted to take the fall, you know, so it had to go under my name. So um, it's happened to play out like that. So. Did Larry go to the hospital with you, Robert? Uh, no, sir. Did, now, let me clarify. Did the media tarnish your name or did you tarnish your name? It was off my mistake. As an Atlanta native, what would it mean to you to be selected by the Atlanta Falcons and play for your hometown team? That would be amazing. That would be a dream for me. I'd love to fulfill that and come back to Atlanta and, and give my all and be the best player for Atlanta I can be. Robert, you're about to go to the Falcons. You're probably pretty well getting back from the um, I have those people already in line, and um, and I have my self knowledge also, and I know what's I know what I need, and I know what I, I know what I don't need. You know what I mean? And I know how to be smart with money, and I have people helping me make those decisions. Anyone else? Nice guy. Thank you. NFL Draft Bible on location.